Hey everyone, welcome to this walkthrough and overview of the Crate Volume 2 Ultimate Urban Samples. When the Crate Volume 1 came out, we had such an overwhelming response from our customers at not only the quality of the product, but the sheer size of it, and all at an affordable price. So with the Crate Volume 2, we wanted to up our game, increase the amount of content, increase the amount of formats we included, and we've done that here with the Crate Volume 2. The Crate Volume 1 only included WAV files. Now we have Apple Loops, Acidized WAV files, Rex files, there's an RMX installer, as well as contact patches for drum hits and synths. For this walkthrough, we're just gonna look at the loops portion of this library. If you wanna check out more details on the synth patches or the contact drum patches, check out our other walkthrough video for this product. I'll show you briefly here what you do get with the drum hits. And with that, you have all these different kick options, hi-hats, snares, categorized by style, and each one has multiple files in it. In total though, between the drum hits and the percussion hits, there's 4,400 different one-shot samples. So there's a lot of content to go through. Also in this folder, we have the drum and percussion loops folder. And we'll get back to that in a second, but first let's take a look at some of the melodic loops. In here, we have instruments ranging from basses to synths, orchestral instruments, guitars. So let's listen to a few of the basses here. Okay, there's also a synth bass folder here. We'll just, uh, for the sake of time, we'll skip over that right now. And let's listen to upright basses. Okay, so let's move on and see what else is in this folder. In total, with these melodic loops, I did want to mention there's over 1,300 loops total just between these folders here. So we have a brass folder here, some various brass loops. Clavinet folder, Commodore 64 folder, flutes, guitars, and let's listen to some electric guitars. So you can hear there's a lot of variety with different guitar styles, sounds, effects that are put on the guitars. So let's move on and maybe check out some harp loops here. Okay, so we have a hit combos folder next, and this includes just a various combination of, of different instruments playing at once. So we can hear a few of these. And now let's listen to some of the MISC instruments. A lot of these are ethnic uh, style uh, loops here. So let's listen to some of these. Okay, moving on, we're gonna check out the Orchestra Loops folder.
Now let's listen to some organs. Okay, and now let's check out some acoustic piano. And here we have a pizzicato strings folder. And we have a strings uh, loop folder here. We're going to skip over that for now and check out some of the synth loops. Here's a folder of synth arpeggios. Also included are some chord loops and lead loops. Let's listen to some lead loops. Okay, so that should give you a pretty good idea of the type of melodic content that is included in the Crate Volume 2. Let's move over to the Orchestral Sessions folder, and this is a very large collection of additional loops. So we have over 2 gigabytes of additional content here and over 800 different loops in your Orchestral Sessions. And if you click on one of the nine main folders here, you can see that there's um, subfolders of different sessions in each one of the main folders. So if you click on, say, this first one here, you can see the term mod. And basically what this means is you have a loop and um, it's been done the same loop in three different keys. <laughs> And that's going to be useful to just play that particular loop in multiple different musical settings. If we click on another folder, uh, this one has the term alt on it, and basically just an alternate version of the same loop or an alternate take, uh, slightly different uh, from the previous one. So we can listen to these here. Looking at another one here, this is one that has a mix, 
and three parts. So you'll see a lot of these in the orchestral sessions where you have this mix, which is all the three parts playing together. And then you have all the parts individually um, broken out. So you can use them in combination with each other or by themselves. So those are the main types of different um, session folders you're going to find in the orchestral sessions. So let's listen to a few more of these. Okay, let's move on to the final loop section of the Crate Volume 2. The drum loops contain four different main folders. Bonus drum loops, drum loop sessions, drum loops live, and percussion loops. Let's start with the drum loop sessions. The drum loop sessions are a lot like the orchestral sessions in that they have loops that relate to each other so that you can help build uh, the drum parts, create fuller arrangements out of the drums. So for example, session uh, 6 here in 80 BPM We'll play a few of these and you can hear how the drums are all using the same instruments, the same drum sounds, uh, but with slightly different variations from, from loop to loop. Okay, let's listen to a few more from the rest of the drum loop sessions.
Okay, now let's check out some of the drum loops live. These live drum loops are also in session format, so they're going to be similar to how the drum loop sessions were. Okay, let's check out the percussion loops. You can see they're all organized by instrument, so let's just take a listen to a few of these. And that's about it for this walkthrough. Again, I want to encourage you, if you haven't already done so, go check out our contact drum patches and synth patches walkthrough. Uh, the drum hits, as I mentioned at the beginning, are included here in the WAV format, Apple Loop format, but you don't have the patches to make it a little bit easier to preview the, the different samples that there are to choose from in there. This library is 129.95, and you're getting about 10 gigabytes of original content. So it's just packed full of great stuff for you to make great hip hop, pop, R&B, dance, EDM, whatever it is that you're trying to do. There's just so much content to go through here. If you do end up purchasing a copy of this library, I hope you get a ton out of it for a long time to come. Thanks for watching.